in this lesson we'll talk about undos, redos, and using the history view palette to go back to a particular spot in our history. So go ahead and open this up. And you can see I have the history view palette open and right now you can see that we've only got one orbit located in here. Now if I go ahead and start to orbit and move around you can see that all of that is recorded in our history view. If I come in here and paint on the model, you can see the paint is actually added to our history view. Okay. Now if I want to go ahead and undo any of these actions, I can hit Control Z just as with any other application. You can see I'm moving back up the history view list here. Okay. I can go all the way back to the beginning spot. Now at any point if I'm in here and I go ahead and do something else at that point, it, go ahead, it goes ahead and removes everything that was past that. Okay, So if I come in here and do the same thing, do a little bit of painting, go ahead and orbit that down, orbit that around and project that through. It's going to add all of those in. Okay, Now I hit Control Z to come back through the list. I'm not doing any new actions. I can still go back in with Control Y and go back down to the bottom of the list. Okay, But if you perform an action, you're going to lose the ability to go back down. You're going to lose everything that came after that basically. So if I orbit now everything under uh, beyond that is gone. Now the undo and redo it's going to be familiar control Z control Y. And you can also find those buttons here to activate those in the projects toolbar and then also under edit we have undo and redo. Okay so the undo and redo you can really quickly undo the actions that you've taken. We can come in here and do some painting. Okay, if I want to change the the color and do some more painting over here, you can come in and do that. Okay, and all of this is in uh, kept track of in our history. Okay, now keep in mind that if I come back in here and let's say go, I didn't want to put the red on there, so I'm going to go ahead and select right back before I painted the red. Um, I can still click and drag or click anywhere within the history view to go back to that particular spot. But if I hit Control Z, I can't move up the list. Okay, I've got to start that from the end. So my last action, if I take my last action here, then I can come back up here and use Control Z to undo. So just keep that in mind when working with your undos and then also clicking inside your history view palette. Um, and that works a little bit differently. And again, if I go back to any particular spot and do another action, that's going to start the new history at that spot and remove everything beneath that. Okay, so just keep that in mind as you go through this process. But it is nice to be able to look at our history and go back and see where that, that paint was that we added and jump jump to the spot right before that versus going in and just hitting Control Z, uh, you know, 25 times until you get to the right spot. Um, so either uh, both tools may work for you in uh, in uh, particular cases depending on what that case is okay so just a short look at using undo and redo which are going to be familiar from other applications that you've used and then also the history view which will allow us to go ahead and take a look at uh, in a list form everything that we've done including our camera orbits pans painting anything that we've done in here that we want to uh, that we might want to change we can take a look in our history view and go back to any spot there okay so the next thing that we're gonna learn about is selection methods and so Kyle is going to go ahead and take you through some of the different options that you have for selecting pieces of your model so you know whether it's selecting patches or faces uh, he'll take you through that uh, process here in Mari in the next lesson